Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Blind. In the last episode we entered the Lake Bed Temple, I believe it's called. In this episode we're just going to be delving deeper into it. We, we've just scratched the surface, I feel. Uh, considering how there's uh, how many floors on this? Like six? The last one we only had two floors, I believe. I don't want to jump off, I'm just going to hit this switch. Okay, that opens the gate. Okay, that's just uh a shortcut back. You just go ahead and blow this up too. Look at this, 43 bombs. I'm kind of glad I did that mini game in the la in the two episodes ago, but still, it was a pain. And at least everyone said, "Yeah, it is hard." So, so I'm not alone in this. Oh wow, you that water dumple just got right up on me. I'm sure they are actually the things from uh, A Link to the Past. The ones that you had to use the hammers on. The magic hammer. Also, is that a huge chew that I just saw? Also, what the heck is that? Oh, that's not a chew. That's just a water bubble. Gotcha. Oh. Uh, what if I did this? <laughs> it just works. So that was a mini boss. Huh, I guess you could probably use normal bombs against it too, couldn't you? There's something just really unsettling about um, using two items in one. It almost feels like a waste, but obviously it's not. Uh, okay. Hold on, before we go any farther, I actually want to check this door that was back here. I probably should have checked that first, because I feel like that would be the optional way. Or the way that dead ends sooner, is kind of what I mean from that. Oh, are we in the same room that we were in before? Except on top. Oh, also Luzalfos, hi there. It doesn't even block attacks. In both Skyward Sword and Ocarina of Time, Luzalfos would block attacks, wouldn't it? I think I remember that. So I think we're on top of that huge water wheel in that other room that we were in. Oh, yep, we definitely are. This is that room, okay. So, where did we come in? We came in through there. Okay, we want to go this way, I guess. Maybe we don't. Maybe it's just another way. Actually, looky here. This is where that other room would have taken us. There's the exit to that room. Oh, jeez. A bunch. Spin attack. Spin, spin attack. Just a bunch of chews. They're like, they don't even hurt you if you touch them. You'd think they would. Oh, hey, here we go. Maybe this is a key? Sweet, okay. Well, we need, I know where we need the key then. Pardon me, choose. Oh, can we not climb up here? No, we can't, okay. We need to go back around. So that's what this, this room's for then, is to get back around. But it was the same result either way. That is a loud AC. Thank you for being quiet. So, you know what, I just had the sudden realization that the reason that this area is like so it so closely resembles the water temple is because it's it's kind of the same place because it's at the bottom of Lake Hylia you know exactly like Ocarina of Time so it just kind of I guess that issue or that detail kind of just passed me by when I was saying oh it looks a lot like the water temple for some reason it's because it practically is the water temple just a couple of I think this is later in the uh in the timeline of Legend of Zelda, which is extremely complicated and has no reason to go into it. Uh, okay. Looks like we just need to do this. Nothing at the bottom here? Okay. Let's move on then. There's so many pots in this dungeon, specifically. Jeez. We've made up back all the money that we spent on those bombs already. So that's not a big deal. Also, we, out, we still have, like, two bugs to still give to Agatha. Hmm. Yeah, you know, just saying, I know what item we're getting. It's, it's kind of obvious in this dungeon. Not exactly subtle here. Along with the fact that I've been seeing targets throughout the entirety of Hyrule. So, kind of expecting it to come soon. Is this a door? No. Okay. Just keep on moving then. Here we go. 
Another chest. There's a lot of chests in this dungeon, too. I can't wait to get the compass. More bombs. Okay, yeah, I guess they have to, like, cover you, you know? What the heck? This is very oddly designed. What do I do here? Uh... There's a thing up there. Uh, I think we need the, uh, oh, hi there, buddy. I think we need the hookshot at this point because, you know, because we need to shoot the hookshot to that. Oh, I'm, I'm saying the name of it. Oh, we have a ladder here. Jeez, that could have tripped me up for a long time if I didn't accidentally see that. That opens the water gates, which floods the room completely. Or not, uh, no, it's not flooding, it's just carrying water down it. I can assume I want to go all the way back to the... Oh, hey! Well, this makes it easier. Oh, wow. That could not sing that note. Well, that was an adventure. That probably affects a ton of things outside of this room, though. Oh, hey, I can get to this. I'm going to pray that this does not lower the water level. Okay, it doesn't. Thank you. Because if it did, I would be like, oh, well, now I have to go all the way back to the top. At least this looks like something that you don't undo. It's just you raise the water, or you, yeah, you raise the water uh, level and you're done. It's not like, um, the A Link to the Past uh, stage or level. There's two doors here. Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, which way do we want to go? I feel like left. Maybe. So what does this affect here? Oh, it's pushing these! And now I can get through it. Okay. I understand. Some Super Mario Sunshine here. Except there's not really anything in here except for fairy. Uh, I kind of do value the blue chew over the fairy. Although now I need it. Even though they do they do the exact same thing except the fairy would be better. How do I get out of here? Because it's rolling in this direction. Oh, I can squeeze. Okay, well then, let's go back over to the other side. So there's a fairy over there. For whenever that's relevant. This is moving now too, so I can now navigate this room. I feel like that's where I want to eventually go, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, fall on down through here and explore this room now so this fallen bridge I bet that bridge is buoyant and we need to raise the water level even more here okay hopefully there's not anything else I'm missing I wonder if um, all the other water wheels that we've been seeing are moving now because that opens up like three rooms at once to us Okay, so we can get over to that door now. We can get over here, which is a gate that's closed. So there's not really... Oh, we can get to two doors here. Uh, it looks like they lead to the same room. What do we have in here? A chest. Hey, that's always good. Compass? No. Key. Because if it's a compass, it has like the da -da -na 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 -na, that whole thing. Uh, okay. Fish. So it doesn't send us to the same part of the room. In that case, this is an easy dead end, so I'm just going to go in here before I explore the rest of it. This looks like a mini boss room, if you ask me. Maybe we'll be able to get a certain item in here. You know. God, I really do love this Zora tunic, you know. Or no, we can't even go into here until we have whatever mysterious item that you get in here. Jeez. That's kind of lame. Guess we'll come back here later then. As for those other water wheels, I bet we have to go through them first. And actually, if I look at the map... If I could, please... Um, there's another room over to there to the left, so that might be where I want to go now. 
if the water wheels are moving now. And there's also one room on the top floor, which I feel like wouldn't have the water moving through it yet because it's too high. Don't know. But we still have to go to this side of the room. Maybe this will just outright give us a thing. Okay, but it has collision on the little chains here. That's weird. Here. Now let's see what's on this side. Oh. Well, you know what? That works. We just have a water dump all over here. Oh, geez. The bonk combo. Hopefully this is where I'm using it. There's a, as far as I know, there's only one Zelda temple in the history of Zelda temples that could like soft lock the game for you because you use the keys in the wrong area. And I think that's Oracle of Seasons. It's one of the Oracle games. Don't touch those. Okay, here we go. I'm using the wrong bombs. There we go. Oh, are they moving towards me? Blow up. Got him. Well, that does kill it. That's nice to see, at least. I didn't know that you could throw the bombs underwater. I thought you could only set them. Oh, jeez. We're getting into hidden... Hidden territory. Whoa! You're from the original game. Or, not the original game, but Ocarina of Time. I remember the clammy doos. Dead. What do we have down here? I can't do that. Oh, it's an entire new room. Wait. Oh, I was about to say, this doesn't look like it's in the temple anymore. Kind of looked like it was exiting back into Hy uh, Lake Hylia. Oh, we're in that room. Okay. We have fish. Water dumples. Again, baby water dumples this time. I feel like, oh, yep, looking up was the trick. The old Goma, you know. Oh, jeez, that's disgusting. Man, someone had too much of a fun time with the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Oh, that's disgusting, the things on his back. It's again with the poor thing. There's a frog that gives birth through its back, you know? And it hurts. It hurts me inside. Just kill all of its babies real quick. Real quick, like. Uh. Oh, he's gone. Oh! I saw that coming. Okay, so he has targets on the side of his head. No, that didn't do anything. His tongue's a target. Giving birth again. At least, like, when, these things will hit me a lot, but they drop tons of hearts. Okay, he's going back up. Okay, yeah, we attack his tongue. Okay, makes sense. Alright, we've got it now. We just have to endure until he does that. Oh, we could probably shoot that with a bomb arrow or something. I'll do that. Die, offspring. We're just killing a bunch of baby frogs. Not nice. Alright, he's going back up. Keep on moving. And destroy. Alright, wait for you to open your mouth. Didn't do anything. Oh, it did! Okay, sweet! So that's how you can, like... Is that a quick kill? I think... Okay, so I think you'd probably, like, get into a loop of doing that if you hit him with a bomb arrow every time. Jeez, bomb arrows are important for this thing. Also, hey there! That's nasty. At least it fades away because video games. And here we have the claw shot. Okay, not the hook shot. The claw shot. It's a claw at the end of a long chain. Okay. 
I get it. So, finally, we can make use of all those targets that we've been seeing. Go ahead and equip it to here. We actually we need a lot of uh, items for this dungeon. And that'll... Okay, so now we can turn the uh, bridge in different directions in the main room because we can hit those switches now. So that's good. Jeez, we're getting so much money just from dungeon crawling. All right, so I think the first thing I want to do is since... We, oh, no, we're not close to that other room now, are we? The one where you raise the water because we could go back in there now and get that chest that was up there at the top. And that's probably like a heart piece or something. Ooh, that would be nice to have. But that's so far away now. That, like, I can't. I wonder if we can open this gate now that we have the claw shot. I'm gonna try it. Although it does look just like a dead end. There is a claw shot thing there. Maybe make it. Oh no, we can't. We have to raise the water level first. <laughs> I was like, how are we gonna get out of here? Thank God they added this ivy here. Think we can hit it from here? No. Nope, okay. Uh, in that case, I think we're done with everything in this room in particular. Now what I want to do is I want to go back. Hmm. Where do I want to go right now? Obviously I want to go back to this main room here. There's, there's still like a tons of ways we could go. Hold on, can we uh? Yes, we can claw shot that away. Cool. So it's kind of like a link between worlds with those enemies there. I think you could do that. At least you can do it in Triforce Heroes. I don't remember a link between worlds if you could do it. Okay, so the water's running in here too, and it's raising the water level here. And you know what that means, we can get that other chest that was down in here, can't we? Nope, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Whoopsie daisy. Ah, uh, that's my only way out, isn't it? Okay. Well, I guess I did want to do that. Let's get down to the middle here. Jeez, is there no nowhere I can go? Here we go. Now just don't hit that. Don't hit it, thank you. There's this chest right here. Which uh, I would assume is maybe a stamp. Yeah, okay. Highly letter K. Well, that's something. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Ooh, forgot about these guys. Also, I was pressing down, but he was not going up. Weird how it works that way, huh? Climb. Thank you. Nothing in this dungeon really does a lot of damage. And that mini-boss would just give you tons of hearts after it used its best attack on you, so... Where's the discourse? Alright, so what were the ways we couldn't go? Looks like that room over to the left, or right over here. But there's not water going in here yet, is there? No. There is not. So we can't go these ways, actually. In that case, I think we actually do have to go back up to the top where the uh, where that claw shot target we saw earlier was. Also, it, there's a key door there. wonder where that goes. Just noticed it right now. Oh, geez. Come on. It was only four steps. You could have let me do that. But which way was the key door? Here, let me take a look-see at the map. We still can't go to the left there because that's the water wheel. Okay. We do want to go in here. At least I think we do. Fairly certain. So we need to activate the water in several areas is what we want to do. That's kind of what I'm getting from this right now. Um, oh yeah, we did unlock this, so it makes it easier. They knew! They knew you'd have to come back through here. That's not the way I wanted to go, is it? I think I wanted to go out here. It's weird how many things I thought I could do with the hookshot now, but I'm not having to do any of them. 
Like you think I could shoot through here for a quick way through the door? Or I guess I could just walk through here. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to make my way back up to the top. And I'm going to use my hookshot up there. There was a chest, but maybe there was something else that I didn't see. Oh, I can! That's right. Wait, there's... Like hookshot targets. Or claw shot. Can I get those? I don't even think I can hit that from here. No. Can I hit it from the middle? Hopefully. Otherwise, I have no idea where to go. Looks like I can. Well, I can't really do much here, can I? Yeah, he's just gonna hit me and that's gonna... Huh. What do I do then? Hmm, maybe this opened water for the entire top floor so I can go to the left? But I doubt it. Huh. Haven't been to basement floor two at all. This is down in the bottom below the, okay. The left there we checked, you can't go. The left here I haven't checked, so it's possible. And the rest of this is just on each side. Not a lot of places we could go here, possibly. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to check the other side then. That's all I can think of. Also, I have to sneeze. Hey, it actually came out that time. Okay. I think I'm sick, jeez. With the being slightly nasally. And all the sneezing I've been doing recently. At least it gives me a reason that I didn't go to my classes today. Not like it matters. Just morally, it feels a little better. Okay, so... Is it open? It is. So we can just go right over here. No, there's no water moving through here. There's claw shots in the... Okay, there's claw shot targets in the middle there. Just saw that. Kind of want to check that out. Sweet. A chest. Um, here we go. And in here we have a heart piece. Okay. So that makes one piece of heart. One more we'll get in this dungeon and we'll have a full piece. Or a full heart. Huh. Okay. So there were the, uh... Like that button. Okay. So... Okay, turning the bridge this way has not been able to be done before. Is this going to do something new? If I turn it this way. Something we couldn't do before. Because I doubt it for some reason. <gasps> that changes the water flow. Oh, it makes sense. So now it's moving down here. Clever. I thought something would happen, but I wasn't I wasn't sure what. But sure enough, we got this water wheel moving. Sweet. Okay. Mystery solved. Okay, well, in that case, in the next episode, we're going to explore this entire left half that we haven't been able to get to before. So, see you all then, and goodbye.